case, okay? So I believe that it hasn't been written down yet. So remember, your notes are always going to coincide with the answers. If you see the answers, it says to ask the woman of photographs, conduct research, gift for his grandparents, how long local restaurants have been in business. Yeah. I haven't written anything down just yet, as you can see. All right. Okay. So okay. let's go a little bit more and see if we're going to get that question from him. Okay. If if the audio wants to work and it looks like it's not going to work anymore. Oh, my God. Okay. Listen go to again. a conversation right, between again. a student and an employee in the university's historical library. Oh, God, yes. Morning. What can I help you find? Well, I saw on the internet that the university library has menus and things from local restaurants, like the Springfield Eatery. Right. A lot of local businesses have donated materials to our collection, including that restaurant. I'm pretty sure we have uh, 10 or 15 boxes of materials from there. Good. I thought you were located in the main library, so I went there first and they sent me here. I hadn't realized the university had a separate historical library. I think what you're doing is great, collecting local documents and photos, keeping a record of the region. I'm glad you see the value in it. We've been collecting materials for going on 70 years now. Last year, we had an exhibition that showcased how the town square has changed over the past 50 years. So that got the word out a little, but you're right. A lot of students don't know we exist. Well, unless they're majoring in history. So you're looking for something for a class? Not exactly. My grandmother went to this university, and while she was here, she worked as a waitress. At the Springfield Eatery. Yes, and that's where she met my grandfather. So, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary this year, and I noticed online that you have old menus from some of the restaurants. I was thinking I could find one from the year they met and frame a copy for them. What a unique idea. What year are you... There it is. That's it right yeah. there. So, if we go yes. back to the answers, Aaron, what do you think? Uh, to answer the, the photos of our business, to continue with a hater class, to try to give our good grandparents to what I love our work. Okay, C. Huh? Okay, Sorry? Uh, try to uh, find yes, a because... gift for his grandparents. Boom. Yeah, yes. Boom. Yes. That's it. That's it. So that is what because... the just purpose is. Now, normally, just purpose questions, Aaron, come at the very beginning of the audio. So okay. just because this one came much later, I believe it came at okay. a minute and 30 seconds. That's very, okay. very late. This is a very unorthodox type of discussion audio. Okay. okay. So I focus in the first uh, 10 minutes, uh, 10 seconds. Th that's right. That's yeah, right. Normally, okay. the just purpose question, question numero uno, always okay. comes in the first 20 seconds without fail. First turn. Okay, perfect. Okay. And so then it goes from there. So here we go. Let's yeah. go into... The next part. What are you looking for? Um, 1954. I know we have a few menus from the 1950s, but you'll have to check. There are some gaps. Some years we didn't receive any new materials, and sometimes restaurants go a while without changing their menus. Oh, no. I really wanted to give them something special. Well, how about this? We also have a lot of photos, so maybe you could find one of your grandmother, or maybe even one with both of your grandparents. That'd be awesome. The only thing is, most of okay. our materials are still in boxes. No one's ever taken the time to organize them. So it, it might require a fair amount of sifting. Hmm. I have a couple of tests coming up, but I can take a quick look, if that's okay. I know some libraries have special rules for handling delicate or old materials. Well, these aren't particularly old. Just the usual rules apply. No food or drinks. Okay. Thanks for your help. There it is. Okay, perfect. All right, Perfect. now, now, to be honest with you, she said a vocabulary term that you may not understand, the word sifting. More than likely, this is going to be on an audio question, and it's going to be, what does the professor infer, infer by saying this? So what does the, uh, the professor imply about this word or whatever it may be? They're going to be talking about the word sifted. She's like, it's probably going to require a little bit amount of uh, sifting meaning he's going to have to look for a while, okay? Okay, Again, okay, perfect. This does happen sometimes, okay? Probably like 50% uh, plus, okay? Okay, perfect. So let's check some more questions. Let's do question numero dos now. 
The importance of note taking is everything, Mr. Aaron. Okay. The note taking okay. is everything. So here we go. It says here, okay. what does the woman say about an exhibition the library held last year? Uh -huh. Now, okay. this was I... very important because I wrote down exhibition last year, showed how mm -hmm. much the town square has changed. Yes. So, Eastern as an university, it's honor of the uh, okay, it's mostly included photograph. The it, it mostly included photographs from the fifties. Ah, yes. it helped increase awareness of the collection. B. Oh, okay. I help increase. Um, I don't know what it is. Uh, awareness. Awareness. Ah, so, I mean, again, you, you, if again, if you don't understand, well, to be honest with you. I wrote down exhibition last year. I didn't think it was going to be so important, but I just wrote okay. down exhibition last year and then town square change. And she's oh, okay, like, uh, okay. what are you looking for? And that's all I wrote down. So Aaron, this okay. is the importance of writing down notes. This is why writing down notes is so unbelievably important because it can mean all the difference in the world between you getting one right and, you know, not, not getting it right at all. Just like this one right here, right? Okay. And so yeah. it, it's all good. Like I said, today it's just dating Uno Uno. It's all good. But I just want to show you the importance of note taking. So let's go okay. on to the next okay. one. Question okay. tres. What does the woman okay. imply about the menus? Well, she said old menus, find one. 1950 war, yeah, check. However, there are gaps. Some years, no new materials, et cetera, et cetera. So A, it says most of the menus in the collection are from the Springfield Eatery. I did not write down the proper noun Springfield Eatery. Therefore, I would eliminate A. B, all of the menus in the collection are mm. carefully organized. Oh, no, no, no. She said there no, is no. no organization. B, goodbye. Mm. See, no, the but... menu the man is looking for is probably in the main library. I did not write that down. Goodbye. The man might not find the menu he is looking for. A correcto. Yes. There yes. it is. All right. And the reason why mm -hmm. he may not find it is because there are many gaps. In some years, they didn't receive any materials. You know, some yes. uh, sometimes restaurants go a while without changing menus. Changing menus, yes. I, I remember this part. Good. Okay, then question numero cuatro. What does the woman suggest that the man consider doing? Oh, yes. Uh, looking for his grandfather, praying in many days, according to the written on there. Okay, the, the first one. Hey, the first one. Look uh, for a photo yeah, sure. of his grandparents. Yeah. That's correct. It, yes. said, it, that, it said nothing about framing. It said nothing yeah. about calling a restaurant and never said anything about mm -hmm. taking a picture of the restaurant. So by process of elimination, yes, which is a technique you should master, you can eliminate okay. the majority okay. of it. Fantastico. Okay. Then, uh-oh, why does the man say this? Now, I wrote this down, and he said, I have tests, but I could take a look as long as the library, uh, well, but the library has rules in regards to handling delicate material. I think I think that's, that's what's it. going to be said, but I could be wrong. Let's check it out. Why does the man say this? I know some libraries have special rules for handling delicate or old materials. There you go. Like I told you, I knew for mm. some reason that was going to be said. So here we go. A, to inform the woman that he is handled? No. Yeah. Re inquire whether the library has regulations for handling historical documents? Yes. <laughs> C, to imply that the library should do a better job? What? No. No, no, no. no to really argue just. that special precautions are not necessary? No. No, no say. Yes. In this case, so it's B. Um, what is the uh, regulation? Uh, maybe don't take a picture for the documents or another regulation? Uh, what, 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 I'm sorry. What does regulations mean, sorry. right? Yes. Uh, probably don't. Rules. Taking a Rules, taking a picture for the documents or another or, rules. Or no food and no drinks and just little small Northern. rules that they have. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, okay. Perfect. Good. No, no noise. 
No, no, yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, no. Okay. Okay. There okay, you perfect. Go. Good, good, good.